Hello guys, this is John Manotti here at Piano Student 7. So welcome. Today uh, I want us to do uh, to do the key of what, 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 what. Let's see. Let's do G. Okay. Understanding the key of G. Don't worry about the sound. I have transposed, of course, because of some reasons with my keyboard. So I need to get uh, the best sound but uh, I'm just playing in the key of G okay so mm, ta -da, ta -da. Mm. So we are doing the key of G today. If you are, uh, you want to learn how to play the key of G. So, so first things first. Let's make do re mi fa so do re mi fa so la ti do do ti la so fa mi re do. Okay, the simplest way before we get to intermediate and all that so then the question you ask yourself is when i play this on my right this is my one what do i play on this this is my left sorry so when i play g one on my left what do i play on my right i have done the formulas on how to make major chords so today uh, this video will not be long I, i'll just show you direct if you want the formula you can check my previous video so uh, if i play g i'll play this one this one is g root first inversion uh, no no sorry this is the root first inversion second inversion let me let me play it here so this is my g root first inversion second inversion how do i know this is this is my root I play I take this one I play the upper one and then so that now I get I get my first inversion I play this one the upper the upper one I get my second inversion okay so that's where I am now so we have our one then our two our two is a is a so one is major two minor three minor four major okay five major six minor seven diminished eight or one major okay so one major first in root first inversion second inversion this is my two it is a minor so this is b so this is a major so minor is this so root position that is a minor root position first inversion second inversion my third chord is also a minor which is b so b major is this one so a minor would be this one so this is in the root position first inversion second inversion when i go to my fourth my fourth is a c so this is my root position first inversion second inversion if i'm moving i if i'm moving too fast you can rewind uh, you you know you, you can take it slow you can slow down or you can also download this uh, video and save it offline so that you can uh, you, you you know you can watch it as many times as you like so we are on okay then you go to the yeah, five fifth fifth which is major root position first inversion second inversion our six our six is a minor this is major e this is our minor Okay, so we have uh, our 
power minor in the root position first inversion second inversion then you go to our seven i have always said that you are seven in that scale you can play it with your fifth in this case which is d all right you can play with that but uh, in that order that we are going we said this one is a diminished so this is basically a, a diminished so this is your f sharp right so for you to get a diminished you drop the third and the fifth okay so this is your diminished in the root position first inversion second inversion back to your one so with that already you can play your one you are two you are three you are four you are fifth you are sixth you are seven all right or then back to your one so it's a matter of knowing your your progression for example a song like uh, jesus and then now for major chords now for major chords anytime you are playing a major add always um, let me just say you add you, you add nine you add nine yeah, i will explain later how is how is it a nine yeah add nine is very different from from sus2 in the sense that sus2 doesn't include the third note but when, whenever you include this one then whatever you're playing here is at nine which means in the scale of c a major scale of c one one two three four five six seven eight eight c. this is your c so you've added nine okay so you will do that for all major chords so when you are playing g g is major in this so you play this you add you add that nine and of course the fifth okay so when you go to your second the, your second one is a minor so you you do you don't you don't add this one although when you add it it also brings uh uh, you know uh, uh, a variation again which may also be sweet depending on the sound that you want for your specific song then you are you are third this is your third then okay then your fifth this is okay then your sixth then you are or back to your one so a song like G G again when you are when you are playing a song you will find out that some of these chords are not okay their voicings are very different a bit not not so much but a bit different for example when i want to play three so instead of playing like this i'll play one and then add the nine then i go to four okay some instances i may need to play this one so in this case now jesus jesus come on say father just played that song with the notes the chords that i have shown you what does that mean if you practice those uh, those notes those uh, chords like you can play from one two three four five six seven one then back uh, eight seven six five four three two back to one so you can really play a lot of songs using those those chords so thank you guys for watching if you have uh, any question let me know in the sec uh, comment section